Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. Amy and I think that it's the beginning of a new year, the 3rd of January, Tuesday, and we would kind of like to begin it with some smiles. Uh, a man wanted a pet, and he wanted a friendly little pet that would be good company. And his friend says, why don't you get a centipede? Centipede is a very good pet. Man says, okay, and he goes down to the pet store and he buys a centipede and he brings it home in a box. And it comes noontime. And he says, centipede, let's go to lunch. No response. Half an hour goes by. Centipede, I know a great little place down on Main Street. Let's go eat. Half an hour goes by. Centipede, look, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. And the centipede says, I heard you the first time. I'm putting on my shoes. <laughs> a lawyer said, it gives me a grand and glorious feeling to dispense legal advice. And the <coughs> client said, Yes, you give him a grand and he feels glorious. A woman says, I have the most delicious recipe for casserole. I simply mention it. And my husband says, let's eat out. <laughs> uh, let me think now. A woman was asked, is your husband active in church? And the woman says, yes, he fidgets. Uh, wiggles and squirms. Is he active in church? Yes, he fidgets, wiggles, and squirms. Lot was warned to take his wife and flee out of the city. His wife was turned into a pillar of salt. The little girl said, what happened to the flea? Lot was warned to take his wife and flee out of the city. <laughs> uh, an airplane, three people in the airplane. The airplane was about to falter and drop to the ground. There were three people, folks, and only two parachutes. And one was the smartest man on the earth. The other was a Boy Scout, and the other was a minister. And the smartest man in the world said, well, I'm the smartest man in the world. I have a lot to give to the world, so I'll take one of the parachutes. And he took the parachute and he jumped. And that left the minister and the Boy Scout. And the minister said, well, my life is half over and you're just starting out, Boy Scout. Uh, you go ahead. You take the last paragraph. You take the last parachute. And the Boy Scout said, no need to worry. The smartest man in the world just took my knapsack and jumped out of the plane. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> there was one more I had to tell you now. What was that? <laughs> if he was the smartest man in the world, how come he couldn't tell the difference between a knapsack and a parachute? <laughs> <laughs> this is a lovely note from Mr. Wayne Collins, Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and a longtime friend since 1955, and this is 2023. Amy's going to be so kind as to read it to us. It's from Mr. Wayne Collins. Okay. It's a card. You want me to show it to him? No, I got it. It says, Thinking of you. 
December 17th, 2022. Dear Glendora, you have recently completed the reading of Compton's Encyclopedia, and as of this writing, you will have completed the reading of World Book Encyclopedia within a few days. This is a notable accomplishment. It has involved the investment of many hours of time and mental concentration. It is truly an inspiration to see a person who at 94 years of age still desires to learn and continue to build upon an intellectual store of information. Sincerely, Wayne Collins. And sincerely, thank you. Amy, if you would turn off the camcorder, I might be able to think of that seventh joke for you. Okay. Is it off, honey? Yeah. All right. 